Hello again. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to clean your eyepieces. Um, now, before that, the reason why they get as dirty as they do um, is because human beings and well, ma mammals in general, actually, um, were, were quite greasy creatures. Um, and in the areas of your face, sort of, especially around your nose and this area of your face, you have um, a set of glands that are called sebaceous glands, and they they secrete a grease um, that's to moisturise your, your skin more than anything else called sebum and it's the same grease that actually makes greasy hair some people suffer from greasy hair, it's excess sebum uh, being produced by the body now also around your eyes you have some more glands uh, they're called mebomium glands and they produce another sort of grease that's called mebum and that's to prevent tears from evaporating too quickly, it just mixes with the tears um, so what happens is, is that, that that grease that's all around there gets onto your eyepieces, spread by your eyelashes and you know if you have any skin contact or anything. Um, so it actually might be a good idea to, to just uh, I'll give your face a really good washing before an observing session and it, it will cut down on it. Um, now we're going to need a few tools for, for the cleaning process. Um, the first thing is that we're going to want one of these which is a blower. Uh, this particular one's called a hurricane blower. Uh, you get various ones, um, rocket blower, uh, but as long as it's a, you know, a fairly good sized one like this that, that gives a, a decent blast of air, then you're okay with that. Um, you're also going to want one of these. If you go to a, a decent optician's or a boots or something, this is called a micropore cloth, and it's actually intended for cleaning glasses, you know, spectacles. Um, so want that. Also from the same place, you'll pick up some glasses cleaning fluid. Now, okay, they sell this stuff in, in Astro shops that's, um, you know, a, a lens cleaning fluid for your eyepiece and stuff. At the end of the day, this is as good as anything. It, it's made for eyeglasses. Um, as you know, spectacles now, they've got all these different coatings, just like eyepieces have. We've got anti-reflective and, and stuff like that. So, it's you know, this is going to be kind to your eyepieces, just like it is to eyeglasses. Um, and the other thing is, one of these, which is a lens pen. Now, if you're a member of Astronomy Shed, we actually have a, a, an agreement with a dealer where we can get these really cheap and they're well worth having. It's a, they're a brilliant tool and it's a dual purpose tool. Um, they've got a brush built into them, like so, it's retractable. And then at this end, there's a cap where if you pull the cap off, there's a small sort of chamois pad on the end of there. Now, in the cap, there's a, a, like a, a carbon like a carbon pad that impregnates that uh, that small chamois pad. Now, every now and again, when you you know when you pull the pull the lid off, it sort of impregnates that pad. But also every now and again, just give it a twist, and it just puts a fresh coating on the on the little chamois pad in in your lens pen. Um, right over to the eyepiece itself. Now, if you've got a sort like this that has the rubber that just sort of slips off. What I would do personally is I would get this every now and again and give this a good washing in the sink with um, a little bit of fairy liquid, some warm water, give it a, a little bit of care and attention because all that grease that's on your face is going to get onto this rubber and then it, it just spreads, it's like anything else, you know, it, you, even if your eyepiece is clean and your face is clean, you, you go to your eyepiece, it's come off the rubber onto your face, then it's back on the eyepiece, so you know, it's just all going to cut down on, on this um, messing them up in the first place. So give that a clean. Again, you can even use your micropore cloth on that with uh, with some of the glasses clean. Just give it a good wiping over. Um, right onto the the eyepiece itself. Now most of the time you won't need to touch this end because it doesn't come in contact with your face. It's usually kept capped. Um, so you know nine times out of ten you don't have to bother with that end. So on this end, with the way that we start is you want to do it with your blower first. The reason being that it's the slightest little bit of grit or anything there. Uh, anything abrasive, if you start wiping this lens, uh, all you're going to do is you're going to scratch the surface, you know, you're, you're rubbing a piece of grit around. So give it a really good blowing, like so. And like I said, a really good blowing. There's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to go there. Um, next, take your lens pen and pull the brush out and just give it a good brushing all over, around the outside as well. Just all of it, a good brushing over. Now after you've brushed it, I actually like to give it another blowing because what you could have done with your with your brush is you could have just dislodged any anything that's gritty again in you know in that sort of this this area around the outside of the glass. Um, so it just blows that away. Now after that, 
you can you can use this stuff then. Um, and they're usually in a spray, these glasses cleaners. Now, you want to hold it about a foot away because you only want like a, just a trace of it. You don't want to soak your eyepiece through. So just hold it maybe a foot away like so. One little squirt is all it takes. There's a joke there as well somewhere. Um, take your, your, then your, your micropore cloth and just give that lens area a wipe in a circular motion like so. Gentle, you know, there's, there's no pressure being put on there. Um, once you've given it a wipe, just move to a different area of your cloth to just polish it up like so. And then once that's done, uh, if you get under a strong light, you can usually just get the light reflecting off it and you can see then if you've still got any smears on there or anything else. Now, if you find that you have, at that point, I'd give it a go with the lens pen. Um, it's it's almost like a, like a polish list. Um, and the thing with the carbon on it is, you know, everybody's heard the story where the best thing for cleaning windows is a piece of newspaper screwed up with vinegar on it. And the main reason for that is the carbon uh, in the newsprint itself. Carbon is very, very good at absorbing stuff like grease and that, which is why they use it in, in cooker hoods and, and, you know, sort of all sorts of applications like that where it needs to absorb uh, even the things that they put in your feet to stop you having smelly feet and what have you. So what you do is you just take your lens pen and with a very, very gentle sort of touch, you just make little circles like so working around the glass area of your eyepiece just little circles and in effect you just you're almost just polishing it and you're only tickling that surface you know there's there's no pressure there at all and once you've done that just have a look again and if you still see you know the sort of the slightest sign of anything breathe on it just give it a, a breath like so and give it another going with your lens pen just that final little polish because that slight application of moisture from my breath, it just activates that, that carbon a little bit better and helps you to finish the job. Again, strong light, just have a look underneath. Everything's nice and clean. So, put the cap back on your lens pen, like so. And take your, your rubber again, put your rubber back on your eyepiece. Like that and then cap it up as soon as you finish your cleaning process to make sure that no dust gets in there. Also, sometimes it's a good idea to get your cap itself and again, give your cap a blowing out because if you've got any bits of, of sort of dirty or anything in that cap, you know, you're just gonna, when you put it on, you're gonna sort of mess your eyepiece up again. And that's about it really. Um, just a little once over for your eyepieces. If ever you're out in the field, um, just keeping your lens pen in, in your box somewhere um, is good enough, you know, just sort of give it a brush off. I keep my blower in my box as well. So you can give it a blow off and um, just a quick brushing and, and a whip over with your, with your lens pen. Um, you know, there's no need to take the microbore cloth and the, and the liquids out with you for sort of intermediate cleaning. And like I said, that's about it. And once again, thanks for watching.